delicata squash are exactly what you think they'd be. They're very delicate. They're delicious. And because they're delicate, you can eat the skin. So I'm going to show you a really easy recipe for this delicious squash for fall. Start out by preheating your oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, because you're going to be eating the skin of the delicata squash, you really need to scrub it under running water first. And then using, I use a large sharp knife, trim off the ends, and then you're going to cut it in half lengthwise. Now, because it's striped, it makes it a little easier to score it and cut it in half. Now, if you've seen any of my other videos, you know I've had hand surgery on one hand, I need to have it on the other hand. So I'm not as slick at cutting these things in half like most of you are going to be. But you're gonna cut it in half and now comes the hardest part and that's getting rid of the seeds and the icky stuff in the middle. Now, I lucked out with these two squash because they were fairly dry. I like to use a paring knife, a sharp little paring knife to cut out the center and just go along the edges and lift it out. I didn't even need to use a spoon or a fork this time, but you can use a spoon to help spoon out the seeds and get out those innards. Now you're going to flip it over and using that large sharp knife again, cut the slices into about half inch slices. Now after you've cut them into the half inch, put them all into a large bowl. Now I'm using two delicata squash this time, but I'm going to tell you the recipe for one. So what you're going to do in the bowl is put in for each one delicata squash, you're going to put in one and a half teaspoons of olive oil, a half teaspoon of salt, and a quarter teaspoon of pepper. Now, if you really, really like pepper, you can add more, but this is a good balance to start with. And then give it a good toss. In fact, I toss it first after putting the olive oil on it just to get all the olive oil distributed, then put on the salt and pepper and give it another toss with a spoon. Next, put it out on a baking sheet. Now, I put them just like you see in the picture, with the cut side down, one of the cut sides down anyway. I also use a sill pat mat, but that's not necessary. You could do parchment paper if you want, if you think it's going to stick to your pan, but most of the time these are not going to stick. Next, you're gonna bake it at that 375 degree Fahrenheit preheated oven for a total of 20 minutes. And what you're going to do is turn them at the halfway mark, at the 10 minute mark, um, I use a tong, but you can also use a fork to turn them over. When it comes out of the oven, it's great to eat while it's still hot. I don't really like these cold, but just let them cool down for a couple minutes. You can see mine is still steaming, but I still want to take a taste. Oh my gosh. So good. Now, obviously, I'm not going to eat all of these in one sitting. So I do refrigerate them, and then later on, I will reheat them. And when I do that, I just put them on a cookie sheet, any cookie sheet, baking sheet, and then I pop them into a cold oven, turn on the oven to 350 degrees, and set the timer for 15 minutes. And voila, 15 minutes later, I have my reheated delicata squash. Check out some of my other videos by clicking one of the images on the right side of your screen or mouse over the upper right hand corner, a little eye appears and when you click it, you'll see some other videos that you might be interested in watching. And thanks for watching. Bye.